Well, work and family, or in my case, just laziness, <laughs> may keep you from exercising on a regular basis. Some weekend warriors, I've heard rumors, are at risk of injury. Steve Noviello continues to talk about men's health awareness. It is No Shave November. Good morning to you, Steve. Hey, good morning to you guys. You know, weekend warrior is a badge of honor for a lot of guys, but it's one that can come with consequences. Dr. Clinton Bell is an orthopedic surgeon at Methodist Charlton. Uh, this can really create some problems for some folks. Absolutely. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> the uh, I want to tell you what a weekend warrior is first, because a lot of people don't understand what we're talking about. We're talking about a person that's engaging in athletic events, usually pretty strenuous not necessarily events, but just pushing their body really hard on a sporadic and infrequent basis, typically on the weekends. So for the guy who's maybe going slow and steady all week long, is that a better approach to this? I mean, is the key here, all of a sudden I'm exerting myself so much my body's just not used to it? Exactly right. We're talking about conditioning, preparing the body to be able to to react and to protect itself from injury. So if you're not doing any exercise during the week and then suddenly the weekend comes and you go all out, you're just really putting yourself at a pretty big risk of injury. What types of injuries are we talking about here? Well, the most common injuries would be pulling muscles, a so-called strain, um, spraining a joint, which basically means just stretching a little bit further than what it's supposed to be. And those injuries for fortunately heal up pretty good on their own and mm -hmm. with time and supportive measures. But sometimes we're talking about pretty big injuries, tears of ligaments, tendons, rotator cuff in the shoulder, ligaments around the ankle that don't get better and sometimes require a big operation to make them get better. You know, there are going to be some guys who tune in who say, but look, I'm just so busy during the week. I've got a job. I've got a family. I, you know, I can barely keep that all together. Yeah. The weekend is really the only time I have to do this. So what's the better uh, option here? Nothing at all or mm -hmm. maybe some sort of special preparation for the weekend activity? Well, you just have to pre prepare to exercise. Right. I mean, the, a good way to look at it is if you, if you tear your rotator cuff in your shoulder, you're out for six weeks and healing for three months, six months. A lot of time without driving, so really a huge impact on your life that would be if, th if that were to come about. So what type of preparation should, should somebody be doing if really the weekend is the only time they do have to really exert themselves in a strenuous yeah. way? So 20 minutes a day, 30 minutes a day, do some stretches, get up, walk around, walk briskly even in the day-to-day -day activities, stretch when you're standing still, do some things that are really gonna push your, your body a little bit more than what a typical day would do. Try to build up your, your heart rate, get yourself breathing hard, do some things that's gonna get yourself in a little bit better shape. You know, and real quick here, let's talk about uh, um, helping out those injuries or really treating mm -hmm. them. Uh, we hear a lot of anti-inflammatories. I mean, are we just kind of masking the pain here yeah. or is it really rest your best option? Well, I, th I think what you said first is right. You know, if if you injure, injure yourself bad, um, no medicine is going to make that get better. It's really up to your body doing its job to heal itself. Certainly those medicines, anti-inflammatory medicines, can make you feel a little bit better. Uh, they can help your body kind of recover a little bit after, in, after exercise and the soreness that comes with that. But a true injury is not going to get better by taking a medicine. Give yourself some downtime. Dr. Clinton Bell, we certainly appreciate it. Again, it is No Shave November, a full month-long campaign to grow awareness about men's health issues by growing out your beard. You can check mine out right now on my Facebook fan page.